Hey guys, Charles Hall. It's a great day to be a CPA. So I've just finished writing my fifth book. You see it here. It's titled Journal Entries Made Easy, An Introduction to Accounting. This book primarily will aid college students and new bookkeepers, but it also has some nuances in there that are more technical, like lease accounting. So if you're looking for a book with journal, journal entry examples, <laughs> I've got it for you here. The other thing you're going to find in this book, in the first six chapters, I provide an introduction to accounting. I take you from zero to 60 uh, very quickly, but once you get through those six chapters, you're going to see example journal entries. So here you see the table of contents. Uh, again, first six chapters, just basic accounting. I start out talking about financial statements. And then I start providing the foundational elements that lead up to the creation of the financial statements. Things like chart of accounts, understanding journal entries, the types of journal entries, there's several different types, uh, solving accounting problems. So when you run into to issues in your accounting, how do you solve uh, those errors that might be present? Also, how to create good journal entries. When you get through these uh, six chapters, then we get into the examples of journal entries uh, account balance or transaction class and you see the classes here so for instance in cash <laughs> you're going to see the actual journal entries you would make when deposits were made into a checking account or when you're paying say accounts payable uh, later on it say in the intangibles chapter you're going to see accounting for things like trademarks or right of use assets in accounts payable, how to accrue accounts payable expenses, how to reverse those accruals. And chapter 17, I close out by talking about how some people use journal entries in a bad way. So they're using journal entries to steal assets or cover up the theft of assets or to cook the books and try to make the company look better than it is. Now, let me say thanks to the people that have helped me with this book and those that have uh, given endorsements. So first, uh, let me thank Randall Wilson. He's a friend of mine down in Florida. Uh, he reviewed the book for me and provided some really good feedback. So thank you, Randall. Then also, uh, I'll give thanks for the endorsements in just a moment. We'll go to that page. But I do want to thank Kaylee Heinemann, who helps me put these books together and make them look presentable and nice looking. So let's go to the endorsements and... Uh, again, I thank Randall for his endorsement. Dee Dee Nichols, uh, she's a friend of mine here in Macon, Georgia. I've worked with her before. Uh, she is a shareholder in Hanson Hunter and Synergy, Synergy Healthcare. So thanks to Dee Dee. Uh, also, thanks to Glenn Aldridge. Glenn is the managing partner of CoSurge in Atlanta. Uh, so thank you to Glenn. Thanks to Chris Johnson over in San Antonio, Texas uh, with CJA CPAs. Uh, also to Brenda McElwee over in Ar Aransas Pass, Texas. Uh, so thanks to her. And then finally to David Howell all the way up in West Virginia. Uh, he's got a lot of experience, and so I thank David, the owner of David Howell CPAs there in Bell, West Virginia. So I appreciate these people taking time 
to give me these endorsements and to Randall for providing the feedback. Uh, so again, you'll soon be able to pick up this book, Journal Entries Made Easy, on Amazon. Uh, we're working on getting that uploaded now, so you should see it soon. Uh, the target audits, audience, I'll say once again, is mainly beginning accountants. But you're going to see some more technical examples like lease accounting in the book. So some of you may want to get it, uh, even though you're more experienced, just as a handbook. If you're wondering, okay, what journal entry do I make here? I provide several examples. This book doesn't provide an exhaustive list of journal entries. If it did, it would be several thousand pages long. It'll, it's about 200 pages. So you're going to see, uh, I think, journal entries that will be of assistance to you, whether you're an accountant or an auditor. So... One other thing I'll say, I think this book will be a great aid to people as they come into public accounting firms. I know when I, I finished college, I had my master's degree, went to work with a public accounting firm, and quite, quite honestly, I felt lost. So I think this book, you may want to buy it and hand it to your new people as they come in the, in the door and this will ensure that they're getting the fundamentals. Uh, also, I find that public account accounting firms often don't really do a good job of training when we bring the new people in. I think providing this book would be a really good resource for your new people. And uh, there's some questions and answers in the book. So at the end of each chapter, there's questions to work through. I provide the answers in the back of the book. So you can hand this to a new staff member, have them read it, have them answer the questions. And I think that would be a good introduction to public accounting as they come in the door. So get your copy soon of Journal Entries Made Easy. I'd love to have your feedback. Uh, always want to know how I can do things better. So I'd like to hear what you think about the book after you have a chance to read it. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye now.